Welcome back, dear viewer. I hope you're doing great wherever you are. In this video, we are going to look at angle properties of a circle. So the question here is on angle properties of a circle. It reads, in the figure below, PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. We have the figures shown, and then PQ is equal to QR, PQ is equal to QR and angle PQR is 105. We have it right here, angle PQR 105. And PS is parallel to QR. We have PS and QR parallel. Determine the size of angle PSR. This angle here, PSR, the whole of this. And for part B, angle PQS, PQS, right here. Well, the best way to approach this question is by filling in all the possible angles we're able to see. And then from there, we can attend to the question. We can try to answer whatever we are asked. You realize that most of the things you already obtained when you're filling in the missing angles. Right here, we have angle 105 already given and the information here we are told that this side and this side are equal that is pq and qr that makes triangle pqr an isosceles triangle so if at this point we have 105 then the base angles should be 75 divided by 2 that should give us 37.5 base angles of an isosceles triangle will always be equal Another thing we need to take note of here is that we have this code PQ and code PQ subtends angle 37.5 at point R on the circumference. Then we'll also have the same code PQ subtending the same angle which is 37.5 at point S so long as the two angles are on the same segment so this side of pq the next thing we need to note here is we are told that pqrs is a cyclic quadrilateral and for a cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles add up to 180 degrees so if we already have here as 105 and this angle here as 37.5 that means that this one here is also 37.5 so that we have 75 plus 105 giving us 180. Another thing we would have done, we have called QR, called QR was subtending angle 35 at this point or rather 37.5 at this point and it also subtends the same angle at point S. So we have same code subtending same angles at the circumference on the same side of the chord. So chord QR subtends angle 37.5 here and here as shown. Okay. So the next thing we need to take note of is that line PS and QR are parallel to each other. And if that is the case, then QS is a transversal line and therefore this angle here and this angle here are equal. That is alternate angles. Therefore, we'll have this as 37.5. Uh, if we have this angle as 37.5, that means that if chord RS subtends 37.5 at point Q, then the same chord RS will subtend the same angle at point P that is 37.5 right there. Another thing, at this particular point, we have 37.5 plus 37.5. That gives us 75. And therefore, opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral should add up to 180. And this is already 75. So 75 plus 37.5. And then you subtract from 180. That should give us... 
finally if this is 67.5 we had we have code ps code ps subtends angle 67.5 at point r the same code ps will come and subtend an angle right here at point q this one here and that should be the same 67.5 i believe we have done the match we could have done so the next thing we are told to determine the size of angle psr psr is this psr so we have it right here that is 37.5 plus 37.5 that should give us 75 degrees so if you are to be asked about the reasons then you can say opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 okay for the next part we have angle pqs pqs is 67.5 so we just come and write it here 67.5 and if you are to give reasons then say the angle subtended by the same chord on the same segment is constant so chord ps was subtending angle 67.5 at point r and also at point q point q and point r both lie on this segment here this side and therefore the angle subtended by the same chord ps at those points should be equal that is 67.5 and that is the reasoning that you'd give at this particular point and that marks the end of this question thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video